Okay, remember the three step procedure. Step number one, plug in. So plug the budget constraints into our happiness. So maximize C1 times C2. That's the same as maximize what is C1, while C1 is 100 minus S. And then C2, what is C2? C2 is 2S. You can put a parenthesis around them uh, to make it a little bit more neat. And so that you don't make algebra mistakes. So that's plug in. Second step, FOC, which means take the derivative of this to and set it to zero. What's the derivative of the first term is negative one. We copy the second term to S. What's the derivative of the second term is 2, and then we copy the first term, and then set it to 0. So that's FOC. And then step 3, we solve it. So negative 1 times 2s, that's negative 2s. 2 distributed inside, so we have 200, 2 times negative s minus 2s equal to 0. Negative 2s, negative 2s, so negative 4, 4s plus 200 equal to 0. Move the negative 4s to the right hand side, become positive 4s, so 200 equal to 4s. Finally, divide both sides by 4, so s is equal to 50, right? So again, our optimal saving is to save 50 avocados. Last step to figure out optimal consumption, we just plug this into the consumption function. Well, C1 is 100 minus S. S is equal to 50, so 100 minus 50, that's equal to 50. So we're going to eat 50 avocados this year. Next year, C2, that's equal to 2S, which is 2 times 50, which is 100. So we're going to eat 100 avocados next year. So that finished this uh, entire problem. We have the budget constraint, consumer problem, optimal saving, and optimal consumption. Did you get it right?